Can we do it? You bet you could. Oh, can you guys all turn off your, off your cell phone? I beat you for it. The, the last one in Montpelier, somebody had it on. And it did really pick up the interference from it.
would be just an increased participation, I think. And right now, in America, to some degree, in Vermont, a lot of people feel left out of the process. And what I've done in my work over the years is to do my best to see to it that citizens really have a voice in the policies that affect our lives, whether it's been farmers or workers or kids with disabilities, seniors. That's really been the work that I've done over the years. And what I want to do is sort of open up the doors to state government more, particularly when it comes to the budgeting, because we have a lot of public hearings on a lot of issues. And then when it comes time to write the budget, a couple of people go in the back room and make a compromise. So I want to have fewer closed door meetings and more voices at the table when decisions are being made. Thank you. David Harrison? Thank you very much. Um, jobs, uh, I, I would agree with Amy. It is uh, a huge issue here in Vermont. I know a lot of people have lost their jobs or have their hours reduced, um, salaries cut, that sort of thing. I disagree uh, with Andy on one thing. I do think there is a lot of discussion on the state wide level about jobs in Vermont. Um, it's just not getting reported probably as much as it should. Taxes is another thing. I think honors are overtaxed. Uh, we, we have a, a significant burden here, and um, that just means that there's less money in their pockets to be doing things that they want to be doing, such as improving um, their homes or uh, affording groceries or gasoline or the heating bills that are coming out this winter, that sort of thing. And then lastly, uh, K-12 education, I think, is another big area of concern. Uh, K-12 uh, spending in Vermont uh, consumes more than 50% of the entire state budget, and I think we need to be looking at ways to um, reduce that burden, which is uh, obviously tied into the property taxes. And I think there are ways to do it. We just need to be coming up with some new and fresh ideas. Thank you. Ann Cummings, three most important issues facing Washington County. I'm, I'm going to chime in on the jobs as number one, the economy, getting our economy back and moving, um, be, being able to use the strength, the, the strengths that Vermont has in order to develop new jobs, new businesses, uh, create a you know, better, more positive biz, business climate. I think we need to be talking up the state rather than talking it down telling people what a bad place it is to do business. We've grown some wonderful businesses around here. And I think we can continue to do that. I think the second, and I think it's very closely tied to health care, uh, to jobs, is health care. The cost of health care has become a major burden on employers. It's become a major cost factor in schools. It's become a major cost factor for families. And I think we, this year, I think we have a chance to really reform our health care system. And I think that would be number two. And I think that may be one of the greatest, the biggest things we can do to help spur our business climate. And the third, I think, is education. It's finding a way to cope with our declining student population and the escalating cost of education without cutting the quality of education. We cannot afford, our, our children are our future, they are our future workforce. They need to work so we can collect Social Security. Um, we need to uh, work cooperatively with schools to help them find creative ways and help us find creative ways to uh, get our health care, get our education system in line. Thank you. Gail Brown. My top priority is to relocalize our economy as a method of creating sustainable jobs. I think the top areas within that are for food and energy. We can put ourselves to work. We've got a lot of human capital ready to get out there and put our landscape to work, both from the forest and from our farmland. And I think there's a lot that uh, state policy should be doing to encourage that. Uh, the second priority for me would be for Vermont to recognize and confront some of the obstacles that the federal government is putting in our way. And a lot of this comes from both the left and the right out of Washington, D.C. And the biggest issue within that is Vermont's cost of our military budget of $1.5 billion a year. That's Vermont's annual share. We're talking about a $150 million budget shortfall while we're spending $1.5 billion a year to police the world. And I don't see how that 